And just like that, thank you to the New York Times for spoiling a major thing in upcoming Agatha episodes by dropping a huge piece of info that changes just how we look at the series and the relationships within it. So let's talk about a love interest for Agatha Harkness herself. So as the title and the intro suggested, yes, there are spoilers here, and I think many people have already realized where some of these relationships and characters are going, but if you haven't, I would suggest turning away. So without further ado, let's talk about a major spoiler that has in fact changed how we look at the series and what can happen next. So there's been a lot of speculation that Aubrey Plaza's character is in fact going to be revealed to be the character Death all the way at the end of the series. And of course, there's already plenty of implications in the series, but also there's the leaked action figures and toys that name her Death. Now, beyond that, there's been speculation that the reason that her and Agatha are not seeing eye to eye and at odds with one another, and the reason that they bicker like an old couple is because they are an old couple. And as a matter of fact, it seems to have been confirmed by people over at the New York Times that that revelation is coming in a little bit and that it's going to really reshape how we look at the relationships with these characters, their history and what can happen next and also some of their motivation and things like that. Now, of course, this goes off the back of what Aubrey Plaza recently said a couple weeks ago at this point where she said that this series, by the end of it, is going to be like this giant big blowout of gayness, if you will. Because, again, if you look at history, if you look at witchcraft, if you look at covens, there was a lot of, hey, the Christianity angle of this. The Christian church does not want us to do this. So they did it anyway to sin, right? For the devil. It was commonplace among covens, among witches, whether it was in New England, whether it was in Europe. And this also has uh, reverb effects in other religions too, whether it's Islam or whatever you're going to look at. That was kind of seen as the alternative take on it, right? Being like, well, they're forbidding us from doing this, which means if we do it, we go against it, we can get the devil to notice us. So I kind of get why that would factor into this and why you know, they had a relationship with one another and why a lot of the witches seem to be like that, especially ancient ones, because it was more commonplace, just to make that clear. 